Good morning, everybody. I am, uh, wanted to go ahead and give you a, uh, a quick update on video daily um, in order to be able to uh, video, is, I feel like that's a word, but um, by video on uh, this aspect that I sent out yesterday over um, the people and assigning YouTube groups and everything. So Canvas has this great feature of uh, under people. So as we go down here to the left-hand side to people, we can click on that and you can see that here is everybody in the class. Um, that's not a big deal, but what we have done now is um, based on uh, both your feedback and not feedback uh, for the uh, cases and who you'd like to partner with. Um, if you click on this one that says BA 540-1, okay? This is where I've actually split everybody into groups, okay? So everybody is paired up. Um, and uh, some of these were by your request and the rest of these may not have been. But the beautiful feature of this that's in Canvas, which is unlike our previous platform Blackboard, I can divide you guys into groups. And this one here has Shailene and Kristen in it. Okay, so um, what you can do is then click on group one. Okay, and then come over here. And then you can visit the home page of the group. Okay, and basically you can communicate back and forth um, between you all the way through the casework. So you don't necessarily have to use email. You can actually come in here and communicate back and forth to, to this like you would a chat. So basically here, this is kind of like its own subgroup here. So you've got the ability to do announcements, um, which is what this page is. You can have discussions, okay? You can just add a discussion here. Um, and in this group, what you can do is add a discussion and continue the discussions for case one, um, and then go ahead and start a new discussion if you want to for case two, um, and then start another one for case three. And you can go back and forth between you at, at the same time. You can also file share in here, okay? So you can share a rough draft of your um, case study between you through the use of this, uh, this file aspect. So you can just choose to upload files or drag and drop if you'd like um, to be able to communicate back and forth with a rough draft. The only other person who can see this information that's in here between other than the two group members is myself. So you can absolutely feel free to do what you would like. You can also, if you want to, um, you can start a conference, okay? Um, which would be if you wanted to talk to each other, um, you can sit there, it's the, you know, basically you start the conference, blah, 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 invite all group members, hit update, and you can use this as a, um, as a chat feature for, you know, you can use it up to an hour and then start a new conference if you want to. Um, to go back and forth and dialogue within the conferencing feature, you do have the ability to share screens and everything kind of like you do Zoom. So uh, it might be a useful tool as well. Um, so, and to get out of this, you kind of go, um, over here, back to your courses. Um, it's usually what I'll do is go back to your courses and go back to course ethics, okay? But again, that's through people, okay? And then what you can do is, go, this is the BA 540-1, and that's where I split everybody into groups. And you just click down here to see which group you're in and who your partner is, okay? Um, as we go down through here, uh, I'll just unclick them all so everybody can kind of see them at the moment. Um, we already take a look at group one, but that's that's who the groups are. And then you can access your own little page here uh, by visiting the, the group homepage right here. Um, so that way you can, uh, like I said, you can do everything for your case. I think this will be very helpful for you as a communication tool and a sharing tool as we move into the, uh, into the case part of the course in week five here coming up, um, where you can start to share information back and forth you can have conversations, you can have collaborations, you can, and, you know, you can share files back and forth without having to send them over email. Um, just a lot of great functions in this aspect that I think you'll, you'll find useful. Um, and I hope that you guys will take, you, you don't have to use it, but I hope that you will make use of it. Um, and that, I mean, and if you have any questions, I'll be, feel free. I was actually, I spent uh, a couple hours yesterday kind of playing around with this to, uh, to see the features and everything because this is new to me as well. Um, <clears throat> the one last little thing in this video I'm gonna go ahead and talk about is our practice test. So I'm gonna go back to home, okay? 
and we have a proctorio practice test this week okay um you know the uh the practice quiz it's not a big deal you don't have to need to study for it's just a quick 10 pointer the big point of this is that when you click on this that it's going to open up okay and you're going to see this extension where it says the extension required okay if you it's going to tell you that you need to do that so that you can click on that it's going to do that we're using chrome okay you need to extel the proctorio extension into chrome and once you click on that you can add it to chrome it's going to ask you if you want to add the extension you reply yes okay and it's adding to chrome okay um and I don't necessarily need to do that. So we'll, we'll go ahead and go back there. Okay, so then you can kind of close this out and go back to where you were. You can refresh the page. Okay, and I will need to convert this to student view for you so you can see what you look like. Okay, it's gonna come up like this. If you in this area get the error when you hit this, okay, and and this is going to tell you see what happened there in between there really happened kind of fast but it said for a minute there it was looking like it wanted an access code if it doesn't go past that then you have to go back and make sure that you've installed the the, the proctorio uh plugin and then it won't and then just it'll come up here just like it is i want to preview the quiz okay and this is where you uh, click in and uh, click yes or no and you submit the quiz Okay, so basically all this is is really to just get you to understand that you need um, on how to make sure that your plugin is working and that you don't have any problems. And if you do have any problems, please reach out to me. Um, but it's pretty easy um, as far as that goes. Um, that'll take care of any of the errors next week. That way, um, if you run into a problem this week, we can fix it and everything before you start to open the test for next week. All right, if any, any of this may, doesn't make sense or you're having difficulty with it, please reach out to me and I'll be glad to walk through it with you. I can, we can schedule a Zoom or uh, I can walk through it a little bit step-by-step step, uh, through email or something. Just let me know um, and I hope everybody has a great weekend.